welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm the blogger behind BrighterDarling.com. Today I'm doing a really fun video. It's a collab with two other girls from the YouTube community that live in the same general area as me, which is the Philadelphia area. We have Erin's Makeup Euphoria and I have The Honest Beauty Reviews. Her name is Lauren. Both of them I've come to get to know in the last couple weeks and really love their content. Erin um, is like a bona fide makeup junkie. She has so many great product recommendations. She's always trying new things. And I really like her content because we share similar skin tones. So the products that she is liking, I either already have and also like, or I'm like, I've been eyeing. And then Lauren's really great because she also has very similar taste to me when it comes to beauty and style. She does a lot of makeup reviews, a lot of makeup tutorials, and some um, like lifestyle things too. So I've watched a lot of her Stitch Fix reviews if you're into that. I found it really fun and helpful as well. Um, she's also a mom, so those of you who are in the same boat as me, whether you're expecting soon or you already have kids, um, she's like a stylish hip mom. So um, I love watching her content because I can see us being really good friends in real life. So um, I'm really excited to do this collab with them. What we're doing, in case you didn't read the title at this point, is we're doing um, a holy grail get ready with me or voiceover or just going over our holy grail products. We all kind of wanted to do it a little bit of a different way. Some are doing voiceovers, I think. Some are doing like talk throughs and some are just talking about the products. I forget what we all decided, but um, I did a talk through, so this might be a long video. I apologize in advance, but I know sometimes you guys like long videos. So next time we'll do a shorter one. I'll do a voiceover. But anyway, um, this is the look that I did with my Holy Grail products. This is the kind of look that I wear, or this is the look I wear when I'm really in a rush, but I have to go somewhere that I want to look my best. These are my favorite products for that. And um, I hope you guys find it helpful. Let's get into the application. and. I will link below uh, Lauren and Erin's videos so you guys can go and check them out and hopefully subscribe to them. If you're new from Lauren or Erin's channel to my channel, thank you for coming by. I hope you enjoy my look and I appreciate you guys supporting my channel. Thanks so much. So I start with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is my Holy Grail primer and I love it because, my mirror here, it is like a skin tone, so it not only primes the shat like lids for shadow by ways of intensing the pigmentation, intensifying the pigmentation, it cancels out any darkness, redness, discoloration I have on my lids, which since I don't sleep very well now that I am 35 weeks pregnant, I really need um, all the help I can get around the eye area. Plus I suffer from pretty bad seasonal allergies. So it's like a double whammy, but I know that looks crazy right now, but once the foundation is on, it's great. And I use this Real Techniques, I think it's called like a dome shadow brush, but you can use your finger. I just, for some reason, prefer buffing it into the lid with this kind of a brush. My Holy Grail eyeshadow set quad palette, I don't know what you want to call it, is the Charlotte Tilbury Dolce Vita. Obviously you guys see I've put some use into this and I love it because the way it's laid out is just a no brainer. You're supposed to put the lightest shade all over your lid, then you go in with the russet shade through your crease, the brown shade to intensify things in the line, and then that sparkly glitter is just to pop on the um, mobile lid. So, and that's literally how I apply it. she's built it so you can slap it on and still look really polished and pretty like you had your makeup professionally done then taking the same brush just cleaned it off on a towel going in with the reddish brown shade and I used to think this was such a warm quad until all the other warm palettes came out and now not so much now it's more neutral to me I'm gonna switch brushes to something a little more precise for the darker brown shade. So just like, this is a MAC 217, anything similar, taking the brown. And just popping it right there on the outer corner. 
can also use it as a liner for a really subtle definition at the lash line. Holy Grail makeup is stuff that I know just looks pretty and polished and doesn't take a lot of fussing. So I'm not looking for like the world's most radical eye makeup look when I'm thinking of Holy Grail. I just want what works. You use this with your finger. So I'm gonna just go into the glittery shade and pick it up. Don't squish it too hard. And then it's got like this gold shimmer here. And you just pop that sophisticated glitter right on the lid. Most of her shadow quads have a pop shade like this that complements the look. So it really lets you take it from day to party time. All right, now that that's on, I will take a little of the reddish color again and go through the crease just to intensify some of the definition we might have lost. We're just gonna set that palette to the side for now and put liner on. So my Holy Grail liner that I've repurchased for many, many years is the gel liner from MAC in Black Track. And I just always go back to it. So I'm just gonna apply this with a Sigma E05. Now we're gonna go into the face. So my Holy Grail foundation is Estee Lauder Double Wear the OG. And I am currently in my summer shade, which is Shell Beige. This is a medium to full coverage, semi-matte finish foundation. So I like to just dot it all over my face. Oh no, a piece of hair from my bangs is flying down. And this is 24 hour wear. So I will link below. I did like um, a YouTube video a while back on like all the different double wear formulas because there's Double Wear Light, there's a powder, there's Max Cover, there's um, the Nude Water Fresh, there's a ton of different Double Wears and they all are a little bit unique depending on what you are looking for in a foundation. So there's really something for everyone. Um, I'll link that somewhere. So, and then I just take it, my Sigma F80, which is my favorite foundation brush and kind of buff it in. And then I will go in with my Holy Grail Concealer, which is still, although I really like the Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer, I still have to say Tarte Shape Tape is my Holy Grail, just because I've been using this so much longer. Um, I'm still, you know, I still really like Too Faced, but I haven't, I don't have the longevity in the history with it yet to say it's Holy Grail, but it's really close. I'm buffing it out with this uh, Sephora Pro 57 brush that I've been obsessed with since getting it at the Sephora sale recently. I don't always like do this like highlight step where I'm putting it on these other areas of my face, but I've been trying it lately. I don't know if it's making a difference, but whatever. Now that we have the concealer on there, we need to set it. So for setting my under eye, my holy grail, like many others, is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I really only, I, no, I only use this under my eyes. I don't use this on my face. And I use this little Laura Mercier puff that came with the mini size of this. Sometimes I use my Dampen Beauty Blender if you've seen in other videos, but um, for now, I'm just using this lately. But either one, it's more about the product, not necessarily the tools that I'm applying it with for this step. And then for the rest of my face to set, my Holy Grail powder that I haven't used in a minute, but I do use this on special occasions, is MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in Medium Golden. And I just put that wherever we didn't put the Laura Mercier. All right, let's go into finish the lower lashes up. So my Holy Grail liner for the lower lash line that I use with most looks usually, like again, when I'm like, don't wanna think, is Estee Lauder Double Wear Burgundy Suede. It's such a cool color. It's like a, it's a burgundy brown. And I love that color because it's not too harsh to wear during the day, but it also gives a really nice definition for the night. And it's something just a little unique. And I think it's really flattering. It brings a little bit of warmth to any eye color. And when I work on clients, when I'm working with Estee Lauder, cause I do freelance for them, 
this is like my go-to color for almost everybody because a lot of people don't like a black they think it's too intense but they're maybe like bored of brown or they don't really want to wear gray so this is like a great other option once we got the liner on I will go back to the eyeshadow palette and smudge the two deeper shades over here on the lower lash line we'll start with the reddish one first And then I'll take the brown just a little bit on the outer corner. And once you have the lower lash line done, you might find that you want to intensify the upper lash and I mean the upper lid and that's totally fine. So I do want to do that for balance. I'm going to take the red again, like the reddish russet brown. Let's get some brows on. So obviously I feel like I use these in every video, but my holy grail duo. Benefit Precisely My Brow and Gimme Brow. I literally cannot be without these. Sometimes I go to Goof Proof about Brow Pencil. Either one is fine. I do prefer Precisely slightly more, but cannot be without these. I don't care what happens. I need them in my life. Okay, now that we've got the brows filled in, I do go in with Gimme Brow to kind of set because I have very wiry brow hairs. And I will say, if you've watched my last video or maybe two videos ago, I talked about wanting to try the 3D brow tones. I tried it and I returned it in two days. I did not like it. It doesn't have the staying power to like hold your brows in place. And I really need that because of my hair or my brows is so like wiry. So I will stick with my Gimme Brow. I even swatched shade two. Um, which is what I use in their brow pencil and any other brow products that Benefit makes. I found it was a little too dark. I like the highlight I get, the highlighted effect I get from using shade one. I kind of struggled on highlighter. Highlighter is something that I don't have a holy grail for, but one that I do find that I like the best just because of the tone is the Estee Lauder Heat Wave. I love this gold shade. Um, if you can't find this, I know that Becca Prosecco Pop looks almost identical. When I work freelance at Sephora, I use Becca Prosecco Pop on a lot of skin tones because the pretty gold um, tone is flattering on many people. So also, I will say more than even a highlighter being Holy Grail, this brush is Holy Grail for highlighter. I don't care what the highlighter is as much as long as I have this brush. It's the Sephora Pro Highlight 98 brush. I've also been like pulling my highlighter up a little higher above the arch of the brow and it'll all blend together you'll see but it's a pretty highlight and it's a gel texture so it's not just it gets a like gel powder so it doesn't exacerbate like texture too bad which is nice because powders sometimes can do that Okay, and then for bronzer and contour, so some of my favorites lately have been mixing the Too Faced Sun Bunny bronzer with Benefit Hula as like a contour. So this is Sun Bunny. It's what I've been wearing a lot recently in my pictures. People have been telling me, oh, you look so glowing, like your pregnancy glow. I'm like, no, it's really just that I'm wearing like a lot of radiant makeup. <laughs> and this is a huge part of it because it has a really pretty like satinish, shimmery glow. It looks almost identical to the very popular um, Hourglass Radiant Bronze Light, I believe. And I almost bought that one when I bought this, except for when I swatched it at Sephora, it swatches literally identically. And then on Too Faced is like, I don't know, I don't wanna say half the price, but it's much cheaper than the Hourglass one. So if you have been eyeing the Hourglass one, but are cringing at the price, try this Too Faced Somebody. All right, once we bronze up, then I will go in with Hoola to contour out. So I usually use the brush that comes with Hoola. And this is part of my project pan, so there's like nothing in here. But I will pick up a little bit of the Hoola and put it right on my brow, I mean my brow bone, my cheek bone. You can actually feel it. I don't go in the hollow of my cheek. I put it on the cheek bone because the powder will settle on its own lower. And I pull it up. And then I do a little on the nose, but not much because my nose is kind of, I don't know, I have like a pretty contoured nose, I feel like. 
for blush, MAC Gingerly. I wore this on my wedding day. I wear this whenever again I need a foolproof blush. It is a matte um, like peachy nude. MAC identifies this as a Capri bronze, I believe. So it's kind of like a bronzy peach, but I just love it. So my Holy Grail mascara, I have to say is Maybelline Lash Sensational on the regular, but my high-end Holy Grail is Dior Show Iconic Overcurl. Okay, sometimes I'll do three coats, but I feel like two coats is pretty good with this mascara. Lastly is lips and another product from Charlotte Tilbury. You guys know if you read my blog, I do love Charlotte Tilbury and we have her new pillow talk line that's out. I will be reviewing that very soon. I actually got it in the mail yesterday, so stay tuned, I'm very excited. But the OG Holy Grail lip for me is from her. It is her pillow talk lip pencil with her biatch. I don't know if I could say that. Be perfect. I don't know if it'll basically if I curse, YouTube will demonetize my video. So the be perfect lipstick. Or be perfect is <laughs> just a pretty peachy nude color. Is I would set with the Urban Decay Chill. This is a new holy grail because I had been on the hunt for a setting spray that I liked for a long time and I hadn't really found one that did much. I like it better than even the all-nighter, so I'm just gonna do a quick spritz of this. Okay guys, so that wraps up the look. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you're from Lauren or Aaron's channel, thanks for checking out this video, and if you're not from their channel, go check out their videos. I link them below.